Hi everybody. Here I'm going to show you the Volvo A50 four wheel drive Visco clutch. Uh, the torque transfer limit on this clutch. As you can see, the front wheels are off the ground and the gear is in neutral. Oh. So the propeller shaft can be free spun, as you can see here. And uh, it can only be free spun in one direction because the rear wheels are on the ground and the disconnect clutch in the Visco housing here is uh, faulty. So there is no four wheel drive on the reverse. This one should um, connect uh, the torque even uh, backwards. So this one is faulty. But I have uh, just tested here to to um, drive away with the front wheels off the ground and uh, the front wheels were spinning and uh, well the car slowly moved because it can transfer 50 to 60 Newton meter through the um, visco clutch here before before it starts to slip and now it's warm because I have tested this so I will turn the propeller shaft here in the forward direction uh, like you can see here you can see the propeller shaft slowly turning and I turn it only with one hand slowly so if you turn slowly there it doesn't need so much torque to to slip. As you can see here, I have welded this clutch together, um, so uh, now it can't freewheel in neither direction. And uh, but the visco still works because the torque goes first through the visco clutch and then through this disconnect clutch. And this clutch is only because the, the rear wheel should be disconnected over 35 kilometers per hour to. Um, uh, so uh, so it won't affect braking stability and uh, anti-lock brakes so now the rear wheel drive is is connected always but it, it can be the, the cause can be that the car slides easily when um, driving at highway speeds but that's that's just funny <laughs> so this uh, propeller shaft should be hard to turn in both directions And it is. This is forward and reverse. So, as you can see, I am only turning the propeller shaft, the rear axle, and the rear tires are standing still because of the slippage in in the visco clutch it can it is able to transfer between 50 to 60 newton meters through it before it starts to slip and the visco system is uh, a better system than the newer Haldex because the visco is connected uh, from beginning from start when you drive away the vehicle the um, the torque starts to to transfer immediately so I will test uh, once again here to try to drive away in the car with the rear wheels on the ground 
and the front wheels lifted off. And I will see if, if the torque is enough to move the car forward. I will film the front wheels only so you can see. I will turn them out a bit. So I will drive away. As you can see, the car is moving. With no delay, barely no wheel slippage. And in reverse. the same and forward again it's only the rear wheels that move the car forward and, re and reverse. There was a bit more wheel slippage because I, I give it a bit trouble. Now I will apply the handbrake and try the same to drive away. It's harder but still it moves the car. The handbrake isn't the best on this car. very hard to move the car. As you can see, even if I repeat this several times, the visco is warmed up, but it still doesn't disengage as many people think it does. I will place this bit of wood in front of the wheel and try both with the handbrake and the block of wood. Let's try forward. No problem. Oh. So, both the handbrake and the wood block. As you can see, it slips quite a bit. I'm, I need to give it a lot throttle, but it still moves. And there, I drive over the wood block. So this uh, four-wheel drive system is very good in transferring torque to the rear wheels. I think it's Volvo's best system. Let's feel how, how warm the Visco clutch is now.
Oh shit. Maybe 200 degrees Celsius. No, maybe 150. I can't even hold my fingers there. It will burn. I feel the heat down here. <laughs> 